All right, Landon, so I was looking at the New York Times a couple Sundays ago, and I saw on the front cover there was um, a picture of a bunch of our soldiers guarding the Capitol, and they were wearing this net gator. So I had to get it because I was like, no, surely like our military doesn't give net gators to protect our soldiers. Like that would be like giving our soldiers level one armor to go into battle, right? So I bought this thing and you can see this is legit. It's got the, the NSN number is a, uh, is a DOD uh, number. This is like a legit, this is the actual one that they're using. Maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe it's great, I don't know. Like we've tested neck gators here before and they suck. Maybe the DOD issue one, it is a lot thicker than some of the other ones. So, you know, maybe it's good, I don't know. All right, so this is a PFE machine. We're, t we're, testing, um, uh, we're testing our particulate filtration. If you wanna know more about that, we've uh, shot some videos explaining it. But basically what I'm gonna do is uh, put that guy on there just like this is going over your face. That's creating a nice seal. Let us start this test. Okay, so the machine is warming up. You've seen these before, before. You know that's what happens in this process. And then it's gonna start reading numbers. So typically neck gators in the past have tested about, what, nine or 10%. Uh, a surgical mask that's made in the US, an ASTM level two or level three surgical mask is gonna test at 98, 99%. Um, and we are off to the races, 25 seconds in. We are at about 26% efficiency. So about double what a normal neck gator is, but at 26%, that's still letting in 74% of the particulates. So if you are in a room with COVID, 74% of that is going right through. Test isn't over yet, it does change. So let's see, it's actually going down though. It's at 20% now, that's crazy. This is what our government gives our soldiers to protect themselves. To their credit, it is twice as good as a regular neck gator, <laughs> it is but almost five times worse than a typical ASTM two or three surgical mask. Let's look at the breathability. So the airflow resistance is uh, 82 pascals, which is actually pretty high, to be honest. I've seen things test 80, 90 pascals and have a 90% efficiency. And it's done. And this takes two minutes to do. And we are at 19.94%. 19.94. That's pretty bad. Golf clap. So I think I looked it up the other day and I think there's been more than a thousand deaths from COVID uh, that happened uh, in the DOD, like in, under the Department of Defense umbrella. So how many of those were wearing something like this? And how many of those deaths were preventable? That's my question. Now, I'm not saying this is the DOD's fault because they are going by the CDC's guidelines. I mean, they don't know. They're not, you know, scientists, people who are outfitting these things. This was made, uh, I, I believe this was actually invented before COVID to, uh, you know, stop dust. Dust is like a hundred times larger than COVID-19. So this actually would stop dust. I'd like to test, um, the liquid barrier penetration too. Let's do it. While we're doing that, I'm just gonna grab one of our masks and I'm just gonna test this. We need to test the entire mask, which is why we have to cut it open because that's actually what happens when you're breathing it. Got it? If you wanna see the previous liquid barrier penetration test, we actually did one with a, a kind of a standard issue Amazon net gator versus uh, our surgical mask. Surgical masks are made for surgeons to protect surgeons from blood spray. So that's why we use, uh, this is not red Kool-Aid, it's actually very expensive uh, synthetic blood. So we're gonna test the same thing here and we're gonna see what it does. It's actually not bad. That's actually way better than the standard issue gator. But I think this is a pretty good visual for how this thing is holding up against uh, COVID as well. Like it's very leaky. 20%, sure. You don't want that going through to your face. The other thing that's bad about this is, look at this. If you are breathing in this thing, now this moisture is against your face because it's not a moisture wicking, it doesn't have moisture wicking properties. You can actually get sick from breathing in something that's wet like that. The more this gets saturated also, the more it will leak and the further apart the fibers get, so the less it filtrates. 
We can do better than this. I mean, as a country. Yeah. And yeah. we should and we should do better than this. Yeah, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Ninety-eight percent. See, just above ninety-eight percent. That's key. An ASTM level three mask, ASTM level two mask is going to test consistently above ninety-eight percent. That's what you want to look for. And if you if you had to wear one of these guys, I would say put a surgical mask underneath it. You know, an ASTM two or level three mask, because at least then you're going to get the protection that you need. And I guess you'd kind of be, since it's kind of camouflaged, you'd be incognito. No one would know that you're protected. Am I protected or not? Nobody knows it's you. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. If this has been helpful at all, please do like and subscribe. Or don't. We're not getting paid this way anyways. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. All right, thank you guys. Catch you next time.